Hello everyone. We come once again to a short time of being still and reflecting on courage. We thought a little bit about courage, about what it means to be brave and how the wise men had gone out into the unknown, about firefighters, soldiers, nurses and many others who faced danger. But then we were reflecting on how we as children in school and at home can be brave and courageous. Perhaps to be kind to others, especially when no one else is, is showing courage. Especially when others are selfish and rude. Perhaps you feel afraid and are shy to speak up or help. Maybe you're afraid to do certain things, like jump in a pool, or keep trying to do your work or improving skills because it's difficult for you. You want to give up. It frightens you. To overcome these feelings, although difficult, is bravery, and it shows great courage. In the Bible, there's some stories that can help us understand how Fear is overcome by bravery and courage. It's not easy. The story is about David the shepherd boy and Goliath the giant. Perhaps you know it. David was but a shepherd boy and a musician and his brothers were soldiers. When he was taking food to the battlefield, he heard the roar of the Goliath, the great giant, calling out anybody who would do single combat in battle with him. But David knew that God was with him and would give him the courage. And he said he'd fight the giant to save God's country, Israel. The king agreed to let David go onto the battlefield, even though he was but a shepherd boy. The king offered him his armour, but David refused and said God would defend him. David went out to face the huge giant Goliath as a small boy with no armour. With just a sling and three small stones he found. He overcame the giant, slaying him. And all of Israel celebrated this great victory of courage for a mere shepherd boy. Who can we ask? to help us to be courageous.